Hello there folks. So today I'm going to show you another neat life hack using the Samsung Pay service. This is the second part to a three part video series on how to how to go completely wallet-less with the Samsung Pay service using a, com using a compatible Galaxy smartphone. If you are unfamiliar with the service, please watch the first part of this video series called How to Use Samsung Pay at the Gas Station. It will get you up to date on what this great service is all about. All right, let's get started. So you're a frequent Samsung Pay user and have your credit card or debit cards loaded and are making frequent mobile purchases with your smartphone, racking up those Samsung reward points each month so you can eventually get that $200 Samsung gift card or whatever prize you are eyeing. That's great and all, but there's still the hassle of carrying around your wallet or purse so you could have important documentation in hand like ID, driver's license, medical cards, passports, insurance cards, business cards, etc. What if I told you that all this could be loaded in the Samsung Pay app and it would still be secure? Wouldn't it be a great convenience? Just imagine every time you leave the house, all you need to carry is your keys and your phone. Having your phone with you is what a majority of the viewers out there already do, so this will be a seamless integration. Okay, but first, I have to disclose a few disclaimers, because this tip deals with putting important documentation onto your phone. And even though there are security measures put in place, nothing is 100% foolproof. It really comes down to what information you feel comfortable putting on your phone. Please use your own discretion. So this tip is not a Samsung official feature that the company advertises, nor will the company do so in the future. So use this tip at your own discretion once again. Samsung and myself will not take any responsibility if you use this tip in the wrong way and somehow end up getting in trouble, suffer some kind of financial loss, or identify or identity theft due to misuse or carelessness of this trick. Even though this is the case, I feel it is still safer than carrying around your wallet or your purse. I feel so strongly about it that I personally think that this would make a great official feature for the Samsung Pay app. And if you feel the same way after watching this video, please send the Samsung Pay team and tell them you want this as a feature on the app. So enough with the legal stuff, and let's get down to it. So you have your Samsung Pay app loaded with a few credit cards or debit cards. And if you have played around with the app, you will notice that you can also load gift cards, reward, car reward cards, and also membership cards too. Now it's this method of loading these other types of cards that will allow you to load such cards as ID, driver's license, medical cards, passports, and even insurance cards. Basically anything the size of a credit card you can load onto the Samsung Pay app. Heck, I've been able to put my citizenship uh, certificate and birth certificate on the Samsung Pay app as well too. Let me walk you through the steps and show you some of the best practices to protect your information when you do load this, these type of cards onto the Samsung Pay app. All right, so as you can see, I'm in my uh, Samsung Pay app where I have uh, my credit card stored, my debit card, another credit card, and a Kroger's Rewards card on here. Uh, the next card that I'm going to show you is my informational card. Now I'm going to scroll through it rather quickly and cover up the information with my thumb uh, because of uh, identity theft, of course. Uh, but as you can see, I have my United Healthcare card on here. I have my uh, driver's license card on here. I have my uh, passports. Uh, my global entry, my social security, and even my uh, the citizenship card, birth, uh, citizenship um, certificate that I was talking about earlier. Um, and so, pretty much, uh, let me show you how to add the card. Uh, you could enter it uh, in uh, by doing that. You first go into your Samsung Pay app. 
um, by clicking on the top right there and then going into your membership uh, and then clicking on add and then from there uh, you could uh, um, go to add a card not listed here um, and instead of uh, take, um, doing the barcode just click on skip and enter card info manually and from there click on the plus sign to take a picture of it and then we'll take a picture of my hotel key card right here alright so you could also take just click on done and uh, you could if you want to you could fill in the fields or you could uh, take another picture of the back um, if it's like a driver's license or something like that um, but you do have to put in your name um, all right. Uh, just put in one, two, three, and then click on save. All right. So once it's saved, uh, you can see the card uh, at the top right there and then you can click on it and it will show you the card details and then you can tap the use card but you won't actually use that so much um, so that is how to load uh, Samsung Pay I mean uh, that is how to load a card onto uh, your Samsung Pay an informational card onto your Samsung Pay All right. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is uh, some uh, security features on here. So as you can see, I could uh, power on my phone and swipe up on uh, the on from the bottom of the screen to get to my Samsung Pay app to quickly pay for mobile purchases. And then from there, I could scroll through and show off uh, some of my informational cards on here. Um, but uh, if you are very hesitant uh, uh, to do that because anybody could pretty much um, you know turn on your phone and um, pretty much turn on your phone without a fingerprint or a, a biometric authentication and uh, scroll and get your information so to do that uh, to take that off uh, you would go into your uh, Samsung Pay right here and then uh, click on the top three dots right here and then go into settings and then so, and this is that second layer of security that I was talking about earlier where um, uh, if you want to do anything on your app you would have to uh, like add a card or something like that you would have to either enter, enter in a pin or use a fingerprint or other form of uh, authentication so uh, after you go through that um, you click on to uh, use your favorite cards and then uh, un uh, make the slider of lock screen uh, show your favorite cards on your lock screen uh, slide it uh, to the left and then from there it will not show up on your lock screen anymore so now uh, somebody uh, once it times out uh, you don't see it anymore on the bottom of the lock screen you don't see that Samsung pay tab on the bottom of the lock screen uh, so what you can do is, uh, well, what, what you would have to do is uh, use biometrics to get into your home screen and then from there you can swipe up and then uh, use your credit cards to make purchases and then still, um, and still be able to access your uh, uh, identification and informational cards. And if you want to take it a step further and uh, even not even show that but still have it uh, accessible, uh, you would um, once again go into your Samsung Pay app and then go into your settings right here and uh, click on the settings and then there's that security feature again 
and then from here you go into your manage cards so you could have up to you could load up to 12 different cards on here um, so if you don't want these on here then you could uh, just go in here and uncheck all the cards that uh, all the informational cards that you don't want to show up on your favorites uh, list once you have that done just click on back and then um, click back and then click on home all right so now you're not able to get in uh, you're not able to access Samsung pay from the lock screen and you would have to go into the home screen and then from now um, when you go into your favorites list to make payments you can still make payments with your cards uh, but then none of the informational cards is on there uh, but you can still access it uh, by going into the Samsung pay app and then going into your membership cards and there goes that uh, layer of security again and then clicking on your membership cards and it will show up right there so there you have it that's the that's the way to load your information and ID cards and passports and whatnot um, onto your phone next I'm gonna get into a little bit of um, of uh, some uh, some object objections that you might uh, encounter while you use this in real life or I'm going to talk about it uh, and uh, some of the things that I had to go through um, so that'll be next all right so objections um, I get this a lot a lot of questions uh, when I show folks uh, how how to do this uh, how to do this little life hack and um, and it is a valid uh, question uh, like uh, for example uh, does this really work if um, well let's let me uh, just start uh, from my experience I've been able to use uh, this uh, to buy uh, alcohol and to get into um, uh, clubs and whatnot and um, pretty much as long as you're um, not rude and uh, you show um, uh, and you explain uh, to that person uh, that uh, hey this is um, my phone um, I use uh, I'm using my fingerprint uh, to get into the phone um, I'm using a credit card uh, loaded that is loaded on the phone uh, to make a purchase a mobile purchase and this is my ID um, actually, I have several forms of ID on here, so um, it makes it more uh, legitimate. Um, of course, you know, yeah, like I said, uh, just don't be rude to the person because usually when, uh, when you try to explain these uh, new technologies uh, to people, uh, they're a little bit skeptical. Um, so uh, those are the places that uh, I know work. Um, in my experience, uh, that worked, and you have to just be a little bit convincing. Um, you might not be able to get through the airport, or uh, you might run into some trouble if you get pulled over. Um, Airport-wise, uh, you could probably uh, uh, get through if you, let's say, you lose your wallet, um, let's say you're traveling. Uh, like I am right now. Um, I'm over here in Vegas uh, for the 2018 uh, CES, you know, and um, uh, and I'm going around and I've gotten my wallet uh, stolen before um, from uh, from a club and uh, and if you go around and you just tell if you were going to buy something or you enter a club or something like that. Um, you just tell the person that, hey, uh, I'm traveling, I'm out of state or whatnot, and I just don't feel comfortable uh, carrying my wallet around uh, because I've gotten it, and it stolen before, you know. So, but this is uh, um, my form of, uh, this is still me, uh, this is my form of identification and go through your spiel 
of how this is your phone and uh, your fingerprint, your cards loaded, and usually um, uh, they will uh, they'll be pretty accepting and uh, uh, let you uh, purchase uh, the alcohol or um, or get into the club. Uh, basically, they're just uh, doing their job. They're just making sure you are you and whatnot. Uh, the next thing would be, uh, uh, what if you get pulled over and you don't have your wallet on you? Uh, that might cause a problem uh, because that is uh, that would be an issue. Unfortunately, I never got pulled over before, so uh, that hasn't happened to me before. Um, so, but I would think uh, I would recommend maybe um, having an old license and. Um, uh, and an uh, old uh, insurance card, and then um, in your car at all times, uh, so just in case when you get pulled over, it should be all right. And then also, um, it comes back, uh, uh, be uh, uh, kind to the officer and don't be rude to him, and say, hey, uh, let's, um, let's save us both some time, um, because, uh, um, you know, you see my, my real... Um, my real information on my phone and uh, I do have like my uh, expired one uh, my, ex my expired license and expired uh, insurance card uh, but I do have my updated one on my phone so if you uh, write me a ticket fine uh, but when we go to court I'll show you the I'll show the judge the, this information and my ticket will be dismissed and both our days are wasted you know so that comes to that um, the next thing would be uh, fraud uh, I get a lot of questions about like uh, so uh, people could forge license and people can um, uh, you know, forge uh, all these other types of documents, and that's true, and there's nothing really that you can do about that, but then again, it comes back down to, like, uh, when they ask, when uh, when you go traveling, uh, a big tip is to take uh, photocopies of uh, your documents, uh, so just in case you lose your actual documents, you have at least a backup, and uh, uh, doing uh, doing loading uh, all this information onto your Samsung Pay app is exactly the same thing. Um, other questions I would get is uh, why don't I just take a picture um, on the phone and um, be done with it? You know, um, and that's a valid solution too. But um, I just kind of like to put it on my Samsung Pay app because uh, it adds that extra layer of security that I was showing you earlier where every time you go into the app and try to do something in the app, it asks you for your PIN code or a form of biometrics, you know. So um, that pretty much covers uh, objections. Um, all right. So there you have it. Uh, you are now completely walletless uh, by using the Samsung Pay app. Um, doesn't that feel good? <laughs> uh, but there's still one more step uh, uh, to become 100% completely walletless, which I will show you in my third video. Uh, that one should be rather short. Um, and then I might uh, uh, do a, um, a bonus video or a uh, miscellaneous uh, video. Um, so uh, stay tuned uh, for those two uh, coming up shortly. Um, Hope you found this uh, tutorial uh, pretty informative, and uh, hope you use uh, the information that I've uh, taught to taught you in this uh, tutorial. Um, and have fun and be secure. Uh, bye now.